Welcome back to Voyager Linux. Today we're going to be looking at the box here on Steve's very own. Okay, here we are back on the desktop of Voyager Linux. We're looking at the box. It's a place to go for quick setting changes. And it's neatly designed. Very good idea. Um, let's look at Voyager Wall. We can look at Voyager themes. We can go through and look. I have all these themes set up that you can change. Right now, I believe we are on Voyager Dark. Well, let's take a look at Go One. Not sure what that is. All right, they change the wallpaper, and notice the panel gets a uh, translucent look. Uh, number two just pretty much changes the wallpaper. Changes the Plank dock too. Nice. How about go on three? Okay, it looked like the plank changed a little bit. Go back and we'll go with one. Yeah. How about go on four? Nice speech theme, and then again the panel gets translucent. And go on five. Another beach theme. Looking at the menu, but the menu changes maybe just a little bit. Let's go down at the bottom. Let's take a look at Voyager Walking. Yeah, pretty much just changes the wallpaper. So I guess if you want to go in here and change your wallpaper that way, cancel that out, bring up the box again, back in the Voyager Wall because there are other settings. How about custom themes? Go in here. We didn't create any. So you can do a custom theme and have that in there. How about save current configuration, create a new theme, or delete a theme? That's pretty much the same. Let's go into night mode. We looked at this in my first video. Change to night mode. Gives you a dark look. How about a dark mode? Changes the wallpaper. Gives you a translucent panel. Look at the day mode. And back to the orange original. Changes to the light gray. Not unlike what Zorn had done. And I think this is a nice touch. But I'm going to go back to the dark mode. A nice wallpaper. All right, let's look at Conky. So we have uh, Conky on the desktop here. And as I was looking at this before I did the video, there is a big list of Conkeys in here. We have the base. Oops. And if you just click on it, it just starts it up right away. So you kind of have to be careful. If you want to turn it off, you just uncheck it. Simple enough. Let's see, date time white. Let's go through a couple of these. How about date time dark? almost too dark you need a nice light wallpaper for that uh, let's see let's look at uh, time full gray typo changes the font size I do wish that it wouldn't uh, close out when you um, close it out let's see let's look at the flip clock that's like your early version of your Android clock uh, I like this one I've, I've downloaded this on my system a couple times uh, the Q-Lock 2, but it uh, is in words. It is a quarter to nine. My timing, it is. Those are kind of neat to look at. Right, let's go back with the regular clock. Wait. What else we got here? We have an extra. See, we have a HUD. Give it a moment and go. Like that. See what's this all? We get the information on that side. So off. Look at one more. How about oh let's look at core two. What's that? So at the top you got this might show up with a better wallpaper. Let's see what's an extra two. Here we go. Let's look at clunky blood. Oh my my desktop is bleeding. That's kind of neat. But this is nice. If you downloaded the regular conky manager to your desktop to your system you almost have to reconfigure all the conkeys. This is like MX Linux, uh, MX1819. Uh, the team at uh, MX had uh, set up all these nice conkeys designed for this, you know, for this desktop. That's nice. It's nice. Let's see graph. Let's see that's set up right. And then let's take a look at bars. Uh, how about HD Fusion? So at the top here, you get it in a smaller font. And then if you clicked on this, it would kill all the conkeys. And as far as management, here's your settings. 
So if you want to move it in a different position, and let's see, oh, you have to select, oh, there we go. So let's, uh, let's move this to the top middle, let's apply, and then confirm the top middle. So you can move it, uh, very simple, because with, with regular Conkey Manager, you have to kind of play around with these. And this is where if you want it a little bit up or down, you adjust these here, it's confirm. But we'll put it back to where it comes from, and we'll leave it there for now. So that's the Conkey control. That's a nice setup. Plank control. As I was looking at this, I was surprised at all the themes they have for Plank. Look at this. Usually, the original Plank just comes with four settings. Let's take a look at, let's see, so it was preset on Chameleon. Chameleon does, uh, adds more spacing in between. So there's there, and this is the chameleon. So if you like it spread out, which I think is really nice. Oh, and it moves to the top. It moves on top of the bar. That's nice. I like the spacing. I did a video on that the other week. Let's see, coal, a uh, coal base, dark panel. There's a nice spacing there. Dark thon. You got your choice here. This is, a, boy, that, uh, the uh, customization that you can do with uh, Voyager is is pretty awesome. It's a regular GTK that does normal theme. HUD is the normal theme. It's Jupiter Redux. That is a normal scene, minimalistic. Panel. Yeah, you got, uh, let's see what's Pantheon. That's supposed to look like elementary. Black mark. There's a translucent panel with the more spacing. That's a kind of elegant. Ubuntu panel. We moved it to left. That looks kind of funky. So you can, why you can you can theme uh, Voyager to your heart's content here. Very nice choices. Let's go back to the original. Go back to Chameleon. What else is in the box? Uh, colors on the icons. I guess this changes um, lettering. I think I'll have to look into this one. It's a uh, weird kind of setting. I've not seen that on any distributions. All right, in uh, reparations, you can reset your windows. You can set your reset. This is where you can reset your panels. Purge to cache home. Purge to cache desktop settings. So you can do a lot of uh, cleaning out of your system here. Conky configuration. So that is the box. And then finally, system infos. This brings up terminal with NeoFetch. See what's on my system. So right now I have OBS recording this, and out of eight gigs, we're using 845 megabytes of memory. Not bad. So that is the box. Pretty cool theming. Pretty cool ideas on Voyager Linux. The more I kind of look at this, the more I am impressed. Play around with this uh, some more. I'm also going to uh, check out the GNOME version. Apparently they have 25 extensions that they added on to there. And then there is the Gamer version that has Steam and Lutris all set up in the XFCE desktop. I'm interested to see what this little laptop might be able to do with some games. All right. So thank you for stopping by. Have a good day. Bye now.